This video is a thank you to Alice Oseman. I love Charlie Spring. In a romantic way, not just a friend way. <laughs> I almost shout it because it's eerily quiet down here and there's people over there. So this is Heartstopper, an ongoing webcomic series created by none other than Alice Oseman. It can be read on Tumblr, Webtoon, and Tapas, or here, in these books. In 2022, Heartstopper was adapted onto screen by Netflix and the world exploded. Heartstopper. 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 So, where do I enter this story? Heartstopper came into my life at the perfect time. At the point of watching Heartstopper for the first time, I was three years deep into a YouTube and creative hiatus. I lost my career due to COVID. I had no direction, no forward trajectory. I was just existing. And I was sinking further and further into, well, alcohol addiction. I was at one of the lowest points of my life and struggling in silence. I felt like I was disappearing. Now here's where my life and Heartstopper cross paths. As I made my way through the eight episodes, I was filled with so many emotions. Happiness, anger, grieving. Just about every emotion you could think of. And when I reached the end of the series, which I adored for so many reasons, I was left with an overwhelming feeling of sadness and at first I couldn't figure out why why had I found this series both equally gratifying and traumatic well I quickly realized that as the show went on I was being forced to revisit my own experiences and it made me realize that I've got a lot of healing to do I'd spent so many years repressing so many emotions from the traumas of my childhood, and they were all now starting to surface. I knew I couldn't continue to repress these emotions if I was ever going to truly heal. So I began to share in the only way that I knew how, by watching the show again and writing down all of my feelings in note form. And by the time I was done, I knew exactly what I had to do next. I had to make a YouTube video. And for the first time in three years, I was inspired to pick up a camera and film a video. In that video, I talk about why Heartstopper is so special to me, how it helped me to grieve and finally let go of being estranged from my homophobic family, how it helped me to heal from my own very damaging coming out experience. Heartstopper has since changed my life in so many ways. I restarted my YouTube career and have once again become chasing my dreams of being a voice for the LGBT community on the internet. I have a thriving Patreon community who are the most wonderful and supportive human beings I could ask to surround myself with. I've even recently moved to pursuing content creation full time, which has been a dream five years in the making. But every few weeks or so, I find myself back to where this chapter started, watching that first Heartstopper video again. Every single time, I'm filled with so much gratitude. Gratitude for how this incredible story and all the surrounding stories from the Oseman verse have helped me heal. But there's something more, something I couldn't say. But that changes today. I wasn't ready to talk about it then, but I am now. And this is the first time that I'm saying this out loud, but Alice's work has helped me gain the confidence and the courage to revisit the trauma of being sexually abused at age nine. An experience that has affected me every single day for 22 years. An experience which led me to believe for so long that I was damaged, that I was abnormal. 
but through Alice and her work, I've learned at age 31 that I'm not damaged. I'm actually asexual. I didn't really understand that that was even a thing. I didn't know that there was a word for it. But through the incredible representation in the Osmanverse, I have come to learn that I'm one of many and I'm whole. And I'm not to be defined by the loss of my innocence as a child. So not only has Alice's work allowed me to do an intense amount of healing around the issues so many of us in the LGBT community face when it comes to acceptance from our own family and our upbringing, but it has also allowed me to truly find myself. To find myself in ways I never thought possible. And to uh, quote Mr. Ajayi, don't let anyone make you disappear, Charlie. I'm really understanding that now. So, thank you, Alice. Thank you for creating such a beautifully inclusive and diverse universe of stories and characters that are helping us all feel seen, that are helping us all to not disappear, and that are helping us all to heal the wounds from our childhoods. I wish so, so much that I had your work when I was a teenager or a child because I would have avoided so many years of hurting, but I'm grateful. I am so, so grateful that the LGBT youth of today, they have your work to help support them through what can often be a, a very cruel world. I want you to know that your work is without a doubt going to save so many lives in the LGBT community. I want you to know that you've saved mine. Now I'm sure many of you at the beginning of this video thought it was a misquote. But it wasn't. I don't like Charlie Spring. I love him. And Nick Nelson and El Argent and Alad Last and Tori Spring and all of these wonderful LGBT plus characters in the Osmanverse that are helping us all feel seen.